How your hair transplant is growing in month by month. Hair transplantation provides truly life-changing results for millions of men all over the globe. But many people are unsure about what to expect after a surgery. Hi, I'm Janusz from Hair Palace Hair Clinic. In today's video I will give you a month by month breakdown of the recovery after a hair transplant. This way you will know exactly what to watch out for and you can prepare accordingly. Around one month after the hair transplant, you may experience shock loss. This can be scary at first, however, shock loss only signals the start of new hair growth and it happens due to the new hairs pushing out the old ones. This is not something you should worry about, as it is a perfectly normal part of recovery. If you have a more sensitive skin, you might still see some pinkish color on the recipient area, but otherwise, your scalp will be healed. The implanted hairs fall out gradually, however, regrowth does not start immediately. So two months after the implantation, the recipient area will be sparse. However, the rest of your hair will grow normally. Three months after the surgery, the shedding ends. You may already see some new hair growth. Fine hair appears at first, which will become thicker and thicker as time goes by. But you should remember that this is a slow process and your hair will only grow about one centimeter each month. At the six month mark, you will likely notice an improvement in the density and coverage. The length will allow you to style your hair and enjoy the early results of your surgery. But keep in mind that you won't see the final results yet and your hair may not appear as thick as you'd like after just six months. Your final result will only become visible 12 or even around 15 months after the surgery. By this stage your hair should be dense, thick and full of life. However, certain areas may take slightly slower to reach their final form. The vertex area is notorious for slow growth as it has a lower blood supply than the rest of your scalp. At the end of the 15th month, what you're left with is a completely new head of hair. Your results will fill you full of confidence and joy. Your results should look completely natural with the transplanted hair behaving just like the original ones. You can freely style and cut your hair as you wish without any worries now. Boldness is just a vague memory at this point. If you're interested in hair transplantation or hair loss in general, visit hairpalace.co.uk for more information. What was your recovery process like? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching.